He is known for being a British Army officer, explorer, and spiritual writer. He is recognized for his travels in the Far East and Central Asia, particularly the 1904 British expedition to Tibet. He held positions such as British Commissioner to Tibet and President of the Royal Geographical Society. His name is Francis Younghusband. Lieutenant Colonel Sir Francis Edward Younghusband, KCSI KCAE, was a British Army officer, explorer, and spiritual writer. He was born on May 31, 1863, in Murray, a hill station in present-day Pakistan. Young Husband's love for exploration and adventure was sparked during his years at Clifton College, and he later pursued his education at the Royal Military College, Sandhurst. In 1904, Young Husband led the infamous British expedition to Tibet, a journey that would redefine his legacy as an explorer. The expedition sought to penetrate the mysterious and isolated region of Tibet, which was largely unexplored by Westerners at that time. Departing from Nuchwang in Manchuria, Young Husband and his team ventured into the rugged landscapes of the Changbai Mountains, pushing forward in their quest to reach the sacred Baekdu Mountain. After their successful exploration of Tibet, Young Husband's wanderlust led him to other captivating regions of Asia. He embarked on daring expeditions through the desolate Taklamakan Desert in Chinese Turkestan and journeyed through the dramatic mountain ranges of the Karakoram, Hindu Kush, and Pamirs, exploring the magnificent landscapes of Ladakh, Hunza, Yarkand, Le, Shimshal, Gilgit, and Gulmat. Throughout his expeditions, Young Husband's unwavering determination and thirst for knowledge led him to push the boundaries of exploration further. However, it was his encounter with the awe-inspiring Mount Everest during his travels that truly captivated his spirit. Standing atop the mighty peak, Young Husband experienced a profound connection with nature and the world, solidifying his place as one of the most remarkable explorers of his time. The expeditions and experiences of Francis Young Husband have had a lasting impact on the world. Not only did he contribute to the geographical knowledge of uncharted territories, but he also played a pivotal role in shaping foreign policy and diplomatic relations in Asia. Young Husband's writings and leadership as the British Commissioner to Tibet and President of the Royal Geographical Society continue to inspire and inform generations of explorers and adventurers. As we contemplate the incredible journeys of Francis Young Husband, we are reminded of a man whose indomitable spirit and insatiable curiosity have left an indelible mark on the world, bridging cultures and revealing the beauty and complexity of our planet. Francis Young Husband's legacy is one that continues to ignite the flames of exploration and wonder in all who dare to dream. Francis Young Husband, born in 1863 in Murray, British India, was raised in a British military family. His upbringing was influenced by his family's strong military background, with his uncle being an explorer of Central Asia and his father and mother both serving in the military. At a young age, Francis was sent to live with his strict and religious aunts in England while his parents remained in India. It wasn't until 1870 that his parents returned to England and reunited with Francis. In 1876, at the age of 13, Francis started his education at Clifton College in Bristol. It was during these years that he developed a passion for adventure and exploration, sparked by his family's stories and his uncle's expeditions. In 1881, Francis entered the prestigious Royal Military College, Sandhurst, furthering his military training and preparation. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below, telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.